Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you how to put elements behind objects in your videos. And we're obviously doing this in Kind Master. So what you're going to need is a video clip or image and it has to be 3D. What I mean by 3D is, for example, this picture. So one building is closer to the camera than the other ones. That way it's going to look more realistic. And if it's a video, make sure it's shot on tripod, otherwise it's going to be very complicated. And since Kind Master doesn't have a super specific tool for this, then it's better if it's a square shape or circle without too many curves. Like the building, for example. And of course, the Kind Master app, obviously. Before we jump to this video, let's do the shoutouts. The movie trivia shout out goes to Goldlocks. Yes, you're correct. The movie lines were from Polar Express. Congrats on getting that right and shout out to you. The everyday fan shout out goes to DJ Jordan. Thank you so much for being active on my channel. I appreciate it and shout out to you. Now let's jump to Kind Master and I'll show you how to do it. Of course, we open Kind Master and then new project 16 and 9. Now I gotta get the video or photo. In, ca in this case, I have a photo of buildings. Here it is. You click check mark. Now we're gonna get the object that's supposed to go between the two buildings. So we click layer and click media. And then we have this guy on the green screen. And he's not a problem because we're gonna make adjustments a little later. You could just leave him on the screen. Actually click this layer and reduce the opacity to zero. So you basically click alpha opacity, then go to zero percent. It's because we wanna match the second layer of the building to this layer. So basically go to the layer again then click media, then choose the same clip or picture of the building. You see, obviously it's the wrong size, so go to alpha opacity and reduce it the way that you could see the layer behind it. So we're gonna match the size. Now when you increase or reduce the opacity, the image is not gonna move. It's evenly matched in size. Now you click the layer on the bottom, you click cropping, then you enable mask, and in this case, we're just gonna put square shape. And now basically resize the mask so it matches the building. Now we click the layer of that flying guy, then increase opacity to full. So now what you can see is that there's this building and there's this guy behind it. So first things first, we're gonna have to remove the green screen. So we click chroma key and click enable. Then of course you can adjust it a little bit. So here's the cool thing with this, you can animate him too. So we're gonna make him smaller first. And once he crosses behind the building, he's gonna be bigger. Click the key on the left, then click the circle with plus. Then on the bottom, it added a keyframe. Now let's say at the end of the timeline, we're gonna move him flying to the left. So basically go through the timeline and bring him there. Make him bigger too, something like this. As you can see, another keyframe was created. Click check mark, and now let's play this. I know this doesn't look like a full movie production, but, but the point is he's behind this one building and but in front of the other ones. And that's how you put elements behind objects in Kind Master. If you like this video, absolutely destroy the like button and here's the movie quote. Nairobi, hopeless optimist. She's been counterfeiting banknotes since age 13 and now she's our quality control manager. Whoever guesses the movie title first and correctly will get a shout out in the next video. If you want more Kaya Master tutorials, make sure to click this playlist. There's a lot of them in here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!